Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge, where we are going to be mixing and matching all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And today, my friends, I hope you're ready to slip into your lab coats and put on your snowshoes, because we're going to be crunching our way across the frozen tundra and working once again with a couple animals you can actually find in the cold and snowy regions of the world. In case you guys haven't seen it, we have actually dived back into our adventures in our Planet Zoo series, Ice Ice Outpost. And kudos if you know where the name Ice Ice Outpost comes from. Chips and I do love playing that game quite a lot. Uh, I'm always very, very happy to use the blue shells. Just saying, just saying. But that's an aside. We're going to be working with our snow leopard today to celebrate that we've been having such a really fun time in our Ice Ice Outpost adventures. And the snow leopard Silver Rose actually recently had some leopard cubs, which is just so exciting. Snow leopards are one of the most endangered big cats in the entire world world. I wish that her tail was longer because snow leopard tails are so long and fluffy. And I would love to see some more snow leopard crossbreeds. So if you guys have more ideas about what we could potentially roam into the high mountains of the Himalayas and watch snow leopards crossbreed with, then definitely let me know. But today we're actually going to be working with the animals that you can find in our Ice Ice Outpost series. We have got our gorgeous silver coated dappled snow leopard. Again, in real life, the snow leopard tail is much longer. And did you guys know, did you guys know that snow leopards actually use their tails as pillows, as cute little pillows. They will actually curl their tail up around their face and cover it over their face to help keep their nose warm. And they will also pull their tail under their face sometimes so that they can use it as a little pillow. It's kind of like a little heat pillow for them, which is just so freaking adorable. But one of the reasons the snow leopard tail in real life is so long is so that it can help them to balance very delicately and daintily as they scale across the mountains of the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau and try to like go across cliff sides that normally you would only see something like a sheep! A sheep or a goat or one of those ungulates who have those special little hooven feet who can actually balance and jump and climb their way across those craggy sides. And you're not going to find this sheep in the Himalayan mountains where you can find snow leopards, but you will indeed find this sheep in North America where doll sheep are very, very common. And we're actually working with our doll sheep in our Ice Ice Outpost series right now. So of course I had to be like, oh, I love cute little snow leopard. I mean, like, kids I definitely want to see some more in the laboratory and because we are working on having so many doll sheep lambs this experiment was born today friends we are going to be mixing the genes of Bella the snow leopard with waffle which is such a freaking cute name I don't know why but I love when you guys give me names for these animals that happen to be after food it just tickles me pink uh, which, of course, whenever I blush, Chips always likes to immediately laugh and say, Did you know when you blush, your stomach is blushing too? Ah, I love him so much. But doll sheep are native to North America, and they, too, can balance themselves very carefully and daintily across the craggy outpost that they might climb across as they're searching for food in those very vegetation-sparse like areas where it's super cold, not a lot of plants are growing. So it really helps to be a sheep that can shimmy your way up a cliffside and chew on the bush that's trying to like put out some leaves. But Waffle here happens to be very, very good at balancing, my friends. So good at balancing that he actually takes Bella, the snow leopard, by surprise as she is roaming across her wonderful cliffside one day. She considers this land her territory, and one of the things that has made her so confident in being able to claim it is her ability to scale the cliffsides and find the perfect caves to hide her kits. And one day, as she approaches what she believes to be the perfect cave to go ahead and live in. She sticks her head in only to be nearly headbutted right back out by sassy Waffle the doll sheep. And Waffle is much sassier than your normal doll sheep, and he's very happy to have claimed this side of the cliff and to have claimed this cave. And it is only after the two of them begin a, a duet of sorts, a dance, a duel across the cliff sides, pairing there, he's trying to headbutt her, she's trying to swipe him off, thinking that he's going to be a lunch, he thinking that he might be able to throw her off the cliff and claim the mountain for himself. And they exhaust each other. And finally, 
through all of their duetting and their dueling and balancing across the craggy cliff side, uh, Waffle and Bella actually come to a mutual respect. And they decide, instead of trying to destroy one another, they actually might share the cave. And lo and behold, my friends, a few months later, we're gonna have some snow leopard and some doll sheep kits born. <laughs> How do you like their story? I literally just made that up as I was talking. Once again, it's always fun to have those kinds of little roleplay stories slip in there, just so that we know what these two really are all about. And this time, we actually have some new genes to inherit. We might be passing on the horns to the snow leopard kits, and we might be passing on those little hooves. So when we have these little ones born, we're actually going to be rolling the dice when they grow up to go ahead and see if they inherit their father's horns or their father's hooves. And we'll see if there's smaller horns as well. Male doll sheep do have these really big ram horns, but females actually have small little horns. <laughs> Eh, not really like that. That's more like a small bovine's horn. So we'll just give everybody the big spiral horns, because who knows what happens when you mix, mix a snow leopard and a doll sheep's genes. But alright, so let's go ahead and pull up the random name generator with some of your guys' names, because Bella is ready to go ahead and have heirs to this wonderful cl cave cliff side. And of course, if you guys want to end up becoming one of these adorable little snow leopard sheep hybrids, all you need to do is go ahead and leave some comments, and then you might be picked by the random generator! Let's do this! <gasps> what?! Okay, I was not expecting that! <laughs> Alright, Platypus, welcome! Platypus, what a hilarious, like, name to name, like, a, a mixture of a sheep and a snow leopard platypus. We're just getting all the animals in here. Why the heck not? But platypus, you are actually a blind spotted little kit. So you're a, you can't get milk platypus. You are a couch potato who is a sleuth and a troublemaker. And I wonder how being blind, oh, I'm so worried about you when you grow up. How are you gonna survive if you're blind in the Himalayan mountains? That is a serious challenge. Oh gosh, I hope we don't have, I'm really worried about Platypus surviving. I hope that the other, the other kits are going to be strong and healthy. All right, come on, Bella. Let's go ahead and have the next one. <gasps> Look at those eyes. Oh, I wish I could keep you. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is such a beautiful baby, you guys. However, we need to mix in those sheep jeans. So we're gonna go ahead and we are actually going to have Yay! Okay, we'll randomize the demon eyes, because we always end up with demon eyes. Um, I will roll the, the eyes three times, but we're actually going to have Stray! So this is little baby Stray, who has now been added in. She at least is able to see. I wonder if she would help her sibling to be able to see where he's going. But Stray is a stubborn troublemaker who's independent, so probably not. She knows that it's every strong snow leopardess for herself. All right, and Stray, we're gonna go ahead and, because Demonize is so powerful, we're gonna go ahead and randomize three times. One, two, three. All right, so we're gonna change your eyes to that blue color. Gotcha. They need, there we go. Oh, those are so pretty! Stray, look at you! Oh my gosh, you're adorable! It'd be really cool if you end up with like ram horns, then you could really take on things in the mountains. All right, hang in there, little platypus. I'm so worried about the little one. I just, you know, sometimes nature isn't as strong as you would hope. Oh gosh. All right, let's go ahead and pick the next one. And now we have got <gasps> another blind hide baby. Oh no, maybe this is really not a good mix, you guys. I'm super worried about this. <laughs> Welcome to Galaxy. Galaxy, I'm really hoping maybe you guys just have like extra strong senses. Can you just survive if I put you in a field and you can eat bushes like your father? Oh dear. And also a troublemaker. So I think we have three troublemakers in a row so far. We do. Oh boy. Maybe these are not genes that we want to be mixing together. A troublemaker who is active and also a sleuth. So maybe that sleuth ability of following your senses will help you survive in the wild, little one. Oh dear. This may not be a very healthy genetic mix. It happens at times. It happens. Bella, let's go ahead and have your next little... Ah, oh, look at those floppy ears! Your next little baby. Let me pull up the random comment generator. And now we have got... Snack! Oh my gosh, look at that nose! <laughs> Welcome to Little Snack! Oh my gosh, those names. I love it. I absolutely love it. Snack is a glutton, which seems very fitting, who is also aggressive and vocal. 
Wow, you know, snow leopards are really, really, really quiet. So it, having like a vocal one, I wonder if he actually baws. Because since he takes after his dad, maybe he'd be like, bah, to claim his territory. Snack, you're amazing. I would take a, a like baaing snow leopard cub. That would be kind of cute. And let me go ahead and pull up the random comment from the generator. And we have got... Bean! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, we've never had this many blind babies at once. Oh guys, what do we do? Do we never mix snow leopard and sheep jeans again? Oh, I feel really nervous about this. Bean, you are smart, aggressive, and hairy. Uh, I think we only have two kit cubs who can see kits that can see now. I guess it would be snow leopard cubs. Snow leopard cubs. Oh gosh, I'm so worried. All right, Bean. So you're also aggressive. You're apparently hairy. You are spotted like your mother, but you have different coloration. That's probably like a blend of your mother and father's genes. And you're blind. Oh boy, guys. Oh boy. This is making me nervous. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to have the very last little baby. All right, come on, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yay! Okay, we got galaxy eyes. And this is actually going to be Ash. Ash, welcome. Welcome to the little family. A little nervous that half the kids aren't going to make it. I'm going to be honest, friends. Uh, but Ash, you are an independent, jumpy, and vocal once again. Instead of howling or growling, I think that you go, ma, to claim your territory. Uh, you are once again taking after your dad with that. I just love the idea of like bawling like snow leopards. That's cracking me up right now. But all right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna grow these guys up. Fingers crossed, maybe their eyes will change color and they can see better when they get older. If not, maybe they'll develop some trait they'll inherit from their father so that they'll be able to survive. Let me know if you guys think they're gonna make it. Platypus, you're up first. <gasps> you're so fluffy! Look at you, Platypus! You really take after your dad! Look at that face! Wow! Alright, Platypus, you look like somebody who would be eating a whole bunch of grass. Maybe you can survive if we just get you into a nice mountain meadow somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna roll the dice and we're gonna see if Platypus actually ends up inheriting the horns and the hooves from their dad. Well, let's see what happens here. The answer is no to both. <laughs> Alright, Platypus. You're, you're freaking adorable, but I'm a little concerned about like the whole being blind on the side of a cliff thing. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think he's gonna make it, friends? Oh gosh. Stray, you're up next, my dear. Let's go ahead and grow you up. Oh, you take directly after your mom. Look at that. A little furrier, a little bit more strength in the chest. Did you inherit any- you, didn't, you did not inherit anything from your dad. So Stray actually just turned straight into the Snow Leopard, who's probably going to end up claiming this territory, uh, like being heir to this territory when the time comes. And I think what we got here is maybe that beefy musculature that's going to be in the chest from the, the doll sheep being able to ram each other. So, all right, we got a little bit of your dad in you. Yeah, I can definitely see that and how you're built. And otherwise, Stray, there you go. You are just ready to be a wild Snow Leopard now. All right, but what about Galaxy? Galaxy, look at your face! Look at those little ears! Oh gosh, did you inherit anything from your dad? You didn't either! <laughs> you guys, I don't know, maybe this is one of the mixes where you're like, science has gone too far. X, maybe we don't need to do this one again. But alright, so Galaxy, you have adorable, cute little folded down ears. You are a sleuth, so I'm hoping that means that you will use your senses to be able to survive. And otherwise, you are ready to go. A wild snow leopard set free. Snack, you're up next. I love that nose. I'm really, Snack, I'm looking forward to seeing what you're gonna do with that little nose. What's gonna happen? Look at that face! <laughs> okay, Snack ended up with like this huge face compared to mom and dad. I don't know how that like popped into the jeans, but I kind of love it. Also, Snack, you cannot have a dragon tail. I appreciate the enthusiasm, uh, but no dragon tail. There we go. What would a snow leopard dragon be like, I wonder? All right, Dice of Destiny say that you do not have the horns, but you do have the hooves, which is about time. I was wondering if any of those genes would like get passed on. So there we go. <laughs> okay, Snacky look. I think Snack's one of my favorites. I love it when we get really unique looks from these mixes. I think Snack can survive. I'm feeling confident about it. All right, all right, Bean. 
Bean, you're pretty smart. Let's see if you have any other traits that are going to help you. Oh, Bean, your face turned out to be a lot more normal than Platypus's face. Platypus, you actually look like you have a platypus bill. I am impressed. That is dedication to the name. All right, and Bean, you are another spotted fluffy one who ended up with the horns. No hooves, but we finally, finally, finally had someone inherit the ram horn. So let's go ahead and get those out. I probably zipped right past them, didn't I? There they are. All right, Bean. Okay, Bean looks really cool. That's a pretty awesome look. I'm sure they're smart enough to be able to figure it out from here. And then finally, little Ash with those galaxy eyes and that big old nose. Ash. Oh, Ash, your face looks really cool. Look at that tail. Oh, I hope they can balance okay, even without the normal tail that a snow leopard would have. And Ash also inherited the horns, but no hooves. All right. We've got a good mix of genes, finally. It took a few experiments before we could really solidify it. I'm a little concerned about some of the, uh, the subjects that we have here. There we go. But I like that look, Ash. You look very majestic, especially with inheriting those, like, galaxy eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. But all right, guys. Very concerned about a few of the members of this group, but I have to say that the ones who did manage to make it out do seem to have an absolutely delightful mix of genetic mystery. I like it. Not sure if we'll do it again. Feel bad about the blind eyes, but I like it. But alright my friends, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely little snow leopard family and the fact that I really hope they can find their way safely down the mountain. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly my friends, oh look at Galaxy's face. Stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.